In this video, you learn that how to interface IR tracker session with Arduino. So let's make the circuit and pick the component from here. First of all, pick the Arduino Uno. This is the Arduino Uno. Double click on it. Now choose the LED. And I'm choosing the yellow LED. Double click on it. Now choose the IR tracker sensor. So this is the IR tracker sensor and if you don't have it in your protest, so you can add it as an external library. You can download the library from the link provided in the description, download it and then add it to your protest. And if you don't know how to add it to the protest, you can watch my video. Link is also available in the description and from there you can learn that how to add the IR tracker sensor to your protest. So double click on it and now choose the potentiometer. This is the potentiometer double click on it and now click on ok and now make the circuit first of all pick the Arduino Uno place it here now connect the LED with it connect the LED with 13 pin of Arduino now pick the IR tracker sensor place it here and now connect the potentiometer with the test pin of the IR tracker sensor so connect it with this and now now connect the ground with the sensor also with the Arduino and ground this as well connect the ground with potentiometer as well connect the power with the potentiometer connect it with with arduino also connect the power with the sensor as well now here you can see two pins one is n art and the second one is d naught so n naught means this will provide you analog data and on d naught this will provide the digital data so let me connect it with the digital pin of arduino sorry now connect it with digital pin of arduino and now circuit is almost ready let me zoom it to a specific area now circuit is ready let's check the code so here this is the code let me run it and now copy the hex file from here so this is the hex file select it And now press Ctrl C. Paste the code in the Arduino. Please keep in mind that add the hex file to IR tracker sensor as well, and that can be found in the library of this IR tracker sensor. You can download the library from the link provided in the description. So right click on it, go to edit properties, and then from here search for the hex file. So this is the IR tracker sensor library for Protis. Open it. And this is the hex file dot hex. So open it now. Click on OK. Now run the simulation. So this is the potentiometer, and with the help of this, we will change the state of the IR track sensor. So let me bring it down. So now you can see here the LED is now turned off. And when the state of this IR tracker sensor changed with the help of this potentiometer, so it will then blink the LED according to the state of the IR sensor. So let me change its state. So here you can see now it's uh, blinked and uh, this means that uh, now the state of the IR sensor is now high. Let me lower the state of the IR tracker sensor. So here you can see the LED is now turned off. So let me change the state of the IR tracker sensor from here. So now the state of the IR sensor is high and here you can see the LED is uh, blinked. Now whenever the state of the IR sensor is low like this so the LED will be turned off and when the IR tracker sensor state goes too high like this so the LED will be blinked then so this was the method of how to interface the IR tracker sensor with Arduino the circuit diagram and code link is available in the description you can download from there if you like the video please subscribe my channel like and share the video visit my channel for more videos related to Arduino thanks for watching